welcome to another video today i'm planning to do a review of the shed build i thought about showing you how i built it but there's plenty other videos out there for that here is a quick before and the after we are very pleased with this shed ordered it from amazon and i'll definitely post the link in the description i will admit after unboxing every material i was a bit overwhelmed there were so many parts but i just followed the instructions took it step by step and finally got it built on top of reading the instructions i was following a youtube video that showed me how to build it that was very helpful i'll post a link of that video in the description so you are staring at a lifetime 6402 outdoor storage shed 8 by 12.5 feet okay so total time that it took for me to build this shed was a long time i was working mostly by myself my wife helped a little bit but i mostly built it by myself so it took a lot of hours if you have extra hands definitely utilize that help but here is a quick look of the inside as you can see it's pretty spacious there's a lot of customization that you could do with shelves that's what i really like about it um, there's vents, lots of vents, windows, so you can get some air in there in case you want to use it for working uh, or if you just want to get it nice airflow while you're looking through uh, different luggages or whatever. I like how it has space at the top so if you want to put any 2x4s or if you want to put anything long up there you have extra space above. For all we are very happy with the decision we made to buy this shit. It's completely different than the one that was previously there. The size, the durability, we love it. Be aware that it is plastic, so if you're looking for a wood shed, this is not the type of shed for you. But if you don't mind working with a plastic shed, I definitely recommend it. Just double check your space in your, uh, in your yard, wherever you're planning to put it. That way you don't buy a shed that's too big and you have to return it. That part would be a pain. A huge truck came and delivered two boxes and trying to send that back i'm sure amazon would charge you to send it back so you don't want to deal with that just double check your spacing and make sure this shed can fit before you purchase putting this shed on top of the platform that i built i was nervous at first because i wasn't sure if everything was going to come together but it has i'm recording this video in 2024 and i built the shed in 2023 so Everything is holding up well, happy to say that. As always, I will post the links of everything I used in the description below. That way you can take advantage of Amazon if you choose to purchase it from there. Thank you all for your support and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.